Hey guys, I'm going to be trying out a new game, which I'm really, really excited about. So excited that I'm going to try putting it up on YouTube, which I've never done before. It's called Betrayed Alliance, and it's a new game. The updated version was released, I think, about a week and a half ago. But the technology is old. It's late 80s uh, Sierra adventure game. And specifically, it's the SCI Zero era, which is my absolute favorite era aesthetically. It's 16 color EGA, full 320 pixel EGA, dithering. It's MT32 music. It's. Uh, different typefaces and things. Um, I just love that era for bringing out a lot of new ideas with, with better technology, more resolution, music, um, but also leaving a lot to the player's imagination. So I'm going to run it. And I like it already. In a land embraced by peace, the old ways are being forgotten. With every pendulum swing, the grandfather clock gazes upon a new world. A world of forsaken alliances. A world of heightened ambitions. Two kingdoms cast their nets over one land. Grievous hatreds grow. War erupts. And the soil is enveloped in blood. A noble king made grey with constant anxiety accepts peace terms from the powerful leader of the southern kingdoms, but at a price most dear to him. His own beloved daughter, Julen, or Yulen, maybe. It's the Northern Kingdom. Maybe it's Yulin. I'm not sure. Ah, what is my name? My name will be Kay. Excellent. Good luck in your quest, Kay. You awaken hazily in an unknown place. Upon escaping the castle, falsely charged of kidnapping the princess on the eve of the peace treaty, you remember finding respite near a pond. But after that, it's all gone. Well, better figure out what this place is. But even more importantly, way to get out. Am I in the dark? Oh, I am not in the dark. Oh, have you ever played a type Pros or Sierra game before? I have, and I am totally happy with my veteran status. This is amazing. This looks exactly like a Sierra game from 1989, and sounds like it too. This is really cool. I love even the, the custom kind of calligraphic fonts in the title there. This is a fan-made game, by the way. Um, I don't think I mentioned. Uh, I think made by... I was going to say one guy, but a small team anyway. This is so cool, but where am I? And who am I? You've never been in this room before. It contains books about magic and houses other arcane items. It's too bad you aren't well versed in that art. Look at or right click, yes I know. So, first thing I see is that ball, yellow ball. Shooter marble on the floor seems to have its own gravitational pull. That's a marble, and there's indeed something orbiting it. Get over to it. So, whoa, cool mirror effect. Whoop. I can, I, can, I can kick it around. <laughs> and this is so cool. Look, when I do kick it around, the moon, or the satellite, whatever that is, 
There's a there's a delay in following it. Look at that! They did the logic for the for the orbital mechanic. That is so cool. Okay. Uh, can I get the marble? Probably not. Okay, I guess I can. You put the sun marble and its earth satellite in your pocket. Okay. To your surprise and discomfort, the celestial circumscriptions yield no cessation. So that was the earth, not the moon. There are a number of books on the bookshelf, mostly dealing with magic, which you have no talent for. Can I read any book? I just doubt if any of these books could help you right now. So I don't think it's going to give me any books. This one looks a little bit special. This book appears to be in a language you've never seen before. The cover displays what looks like marbles, like the one I have in my pocket. Hmm. Oh, <laughs> I can't open the book, I guess. Can I get this book? You're not sure this book would capture your interest. Not enough dragons on the cover. I'm a bit of a dullard, I suppose, eh? The tables, both, uh, two tables, I suppose. Front table and back table. Boast a few flasks and containers of unknown substances. You also see a note on one table. It looks like a letter, but there are no names. The power you've been granted is not a trifle. Do not forget the terms of the bargain. There is much more to be had and even much more to be lost. Who is this note for? Probably not be not me because I never bargained for anything. Is it for the king? Look at this tapestry. On the wall is a tapestry with a mysterious symbol. What could it mean? Hmm. Can I get the tapestry? Hmm. Okay, but that's an interesting symbol. Not knowing what substance you're dealing with, you refrain from taking the flask. The Dominion of Shayla is beautifully illustrated on this map. Could be useful for navigation. Seems to be hinting that I can take this map. Stuff. Well, how can I get it? Let me try the other side. How can, I, how can I get... Oh, come on. What, do I climb on the table? Oh, come on. Ah, there, there it is. Can I open a drawer? Is there a drawer in here? Ah. Pages of notes on legendary and mythical plant and animal life. And a random, some random score sheets from chess matches. <laughs> Looks like this guy doesn't win very often. Regrettably, you find that none of it is useful to you. Okay, let's go. Oh, oh, oh. Not much of a way out, is it? The only door leads to a cluttered closet. Okay. I was worried I'd died already. Uh, oh, I'm still in there. Uh, look at me in the closet. It's hard to see, but you do notice a book that appears to be missing from Shayla's library. Okay, that's the book. Myths and Legends of Shayla. This certainly looks like an interesting book, but you should probably take it and return it to the library. To read it, look in your menu bar. Oh, that's cool. I like that the music kind of cuts out. Uh, books. Consult in your menu bar. Ah. Oh, letters. Can I get the, can I get the letter? Okay. 
so I have no... Okay, no letters. But my lost books... Aha! With some legends of Shayla. Many myths and legends have evolved over the years in the land of Shayla. Sorry, in the land of Shayla. While most are merely ghost stories told to scare children to behave, it now seems many adults believe these stories are not just fantasies. The most recent is the so-called Muse of the Mountains. It is said the voice of a woman is heard singing in the eastern mountains. Travelers remark that she sings for a lost love, but whoever he is cannot seem to hear me. More disturbing are the stories of a voice calling from the whispering caverns, an old well turned haunted pit. Unlike the news, this voice is said to beckon any man to his demise, as no one has been seen leaving the pit once they enter. There is also the myth of a stolen relic that was said to have brought ruin to the Carmyle family. The truth of these stories may forever be unknown, but it is certain that they will live on in the minds of those who hear them. Okay. Okay. So, just need to go out somehow. Somehow I've got to get out of here. Is there something on the seat? Wait a second. Wait a second. <laughs> do, I, do I have a beard in the reflection? Please step aside, soldier of Shayla. So I'm a soldier. Soldier, you think to yourself. I'm a general. Aha. I have some information for you, hero. The stolen princess, Yulin, has not been abducted by outside forces. She's been taken by renegades within your own kingdom. Uh-oh. While I know this, I do not know their intentions with her. All I know is that she's an outside... Uh, sorry. She's an unknown prisoner in the castle. So she's inside the castle. And it looks like I'm inside the castle. As the guardian of these realms, I ask a favor. I want you to make sure she's safe and escape with her from Sheila Castle. You may come and go here as you please, if you know the way. Cool. Just activate this portal and it will be added to your map. Okay, once activated, you can travel to it as you wish. I must go now. I'm a very busy man. Okay, so if I look at my map... Oh! Okay, so I can go... So if I want to go to the castle... I can't go to the castle. It's that skull over there. Oh, but these things over here... Oh, so this is probably where I am right now. Oh, this is not in the castle, then. I see. And there's only one place I can go, which is the pond. Okay. Do I really want to go to the pond? I guess so. That was a really cool... The visuals on that, that animation was really cool. It wasn't just a simple fade in, fade out. I kind of got stretched and, and warped or melted as I was teleporting. Very cool. Okay, where am I? This is where you took refuge, hidden among the rocks. There's a nice pond here, and a strange man fishing. Okay, and there's... So am I crazy, or is there a symbol in the pond? How strange, that is the same symbol on the tapestry in the wizard's room. So maybe... If there's a symbol, that means that I can teleport there? And that's why I can teleport between those two places, because they both have symbols? I don't know. Okay. Up to man. I'm not close now. Oh, did his eyes just open? That was cool. Hi there, I'm Bobby. I'm a fisher. Maybe he plays chess as well. Some say I'm Kurt, that my name is Bobby. 
Bobby the Fisher. I like to fish, I also like sleeping. Sometimes I do both at the same time. This pond is good for fishing. No one else is ever here. There's a troll down south, but he doesn't come out of his cave. Not even has noticed that you don't don't really find a pond just in the middle of nowhere. So not with fish in it anyway. It'd have to be connected to some sort of stream or I don't know. Anyway, okay, troll down south. Uh, okay, but he doesn't come out of his cave. Okay. The troll is tall and scary. He lives in a dark cave. He eats soldiers sometimes. Fighting him is no use. There's a guy, Sammy. He says the troll is afraid of him. He likes to eat a lot too. But Sammy eats cooked food, not raw, like the troll. Okay. Ask about symbol. Oh yeah, now that you say it, I see it too. Either it's new or I just haven't noticed it before. Okay, ask about Yulin. Yulin is gone. I don't know why though. She fished with me before. The princess used to used to fish at the pond. She was a nice girl. Didn't he say before that no one ever came here? I heard she was in the cave to the east. There's a well near a skull. That's where they say she is now. Well, the wizard said she was in the castle. Ask about castle. That's a good question. I don't know anything about it. Do you know anything about the wizard? Never seen the great wizard? They say he created everything. Sounds pretty powerful. Ask about... Oh, the marble. Marble that I have. He doesn't know anything about a marble. Ask about fish. Maybe I can get a fish. I really like this pond. It's got a nice rock to sit on, and sometimes the fish bite too. Pretty laid back guy. Even once, even the princess fished with me. She was nice, but not good at fishing. I see. She only came there once. Okay, let's save. Auto save. Super cool. Wait, how does autosave work? Okay. So, five points uh, at pond. How does autosave work? Betrayed Alliance uses the first of its 20 save slots as a dedicated autosave. This autosave triggers at the beginning of each new screen with a handful of exceptions. Super cool! Why didn't Sierra do that? Is there anything else that's been added here? Written and produced by Ryan Slattery. Yeah, I was saying this was... Looks like this is done by... Okay, maybe not one guy, but mostly by one guy with help from Carl Dupere Rocher. I see. Brian Provinciano and Phil Fortier, programmed by Ryan Slattery. Oh, so they made SCI Studio, I see. Music by Ryan Slattery and Brian Bloom. I love the music. Very nice. Good. Oh, geez. You know who you will not see on here yet is me. Though I should change that. You should donate to this project. Okay. Oh. There's a niche on the rocks where you slept the night you escaped from the jail. There's nothing interesting inside. So don't bother poking around there, I see. Ooh. Okay, come quickly. I have something very important for you. <laughs> my, my face was already red, so it had to turn... EGA magenta for me to be embarrassed. There is much for me to confess to you, my love. I know you are innocent of abducting Princess Yulin, but as for me, I am not unwilling to be captured. That's a weird thing to say. I am of noble blood, daughter of Vekel von Speer, the world adventurer. You are a wanted man and I am a wanderer. Put Yulin out of your heart and let us disappear together and never be found. So do I take it that I love Yulin? And this woman loves me? 
Ask me anything you wish. Who is this person? Yes, I know how to ask questions. Ask name. <laughs> well, who, who, who is this? Uh, ask about Yulin. Word has been spreading that Yulin has been taken to the skull-shaped well east of here, the so-called Whispering Caverns. It is a shame she was kidnapped, but between you and me, perhaps it was destined to be. For now you can know of my love, and we can seek a new life together. Some kind of love triangle. Ask about Bobby. He's a sweet man, but a bit naive. He's oblivious to the troubles of the world and only cares for himself. Ask about the troll. A large troll has recently taken up residence in the Western Caves. Even I would not be bold enough to fight something so savage. If it is your desire to search out those caves, you'll want a better method than fighting. So there's got to be some puzzle to get past him. Uh, the wizard? The great wizard is a fairy tale that many cultures tell, a being so powerful that he created the world. Every fairy tale has some truth. I don't know how much of this one is true. Ask about the horse. Near Seah is my oldest companion. Together we have seen strange lands, fought off marauders, and encountered fantastic wonders. Uh-huh, ask about archery. You never know when an adventure will open itself up, so I'm practicing. I hate to miss my moment. Hmm. Ask about love. Does she love me? You may not understand my love for you, but I have a relentless heart that I never deny. I've grown my hair as an oath. It will be as long as my longing for you. That's nice and poetic and a little bit creepy, but just a little bit. Um, okay. What can I do? Ooh, just a little high. Okay, guess I go down. Is this the troll's cave? These caverns haven't been used in years, and it looks like a new tenant has claimed the territory. Unfortunately, whatever it is, it isn't very peaceful. It must be the troll. Which you just notice, by the way, my cape, my outfit. It's very Hero's Quest, isn't it? I wonder if this was modeled after Hero's Quest. Um, okay, let me save. Side troll cave, maybe? Is that the troll? A horrid stench fills the air, likely coming from the pile of bones on the ground. There are caverns to the north and to the west. A large, grumpy looking, grumpy looking troll inhabits the cave. I find trolls, the word troll, is used to describe so many different creatures, different fantasy worlds, different games, different mythologies have a different idea of a troll. Sometimes they're short, sometimes they're tall, sometimes they're green, sometimes they regenerate. This one's red. There's something... I saw something sparkling there before. Look at the sparkle. Oops. Sparkle. Hmm, that sparkling thing. Look at glimmering, glimmering thing. Look at glittering thing. How many synonyms can I try? Look at gold. There's nothing particularly interesting about it. I'm guessing I can't actually get close. Oh. The troll stands and sizes you up with his one eye. Ah, trolls have one eye in this world. You've clearly crossed into his turf. He's not happy about it. Oh, did you see it again? The gnawed remains of the dead are piled in a heap on the ground and present you a serious question. Are you food? But I just want to see the... You notice something glimmering in the stack, but you can't quite make it out from there. Can I get even closer? Uh-oh. 
I feel the feeling I'm dead. Okay, this is definitely Hero's Quest. You may target the opponent in the three areas. Okay, so that's what I have on the right, is head, body, legs. Uh, but then on the left I have up and down, and left and right. Oh, so well, oh, up is attack, right is shield. Do I have a shield? Maybe I don't have one yet. Left and right is parry or dodge, probably dodge. And okay, so let's go for the legs. For okay, so I'm hitting him. No, no. Uh oh, this is not going well. I don't. Oh, I hit his legs. I think. And okay. Okay, so don't do that. What is the difference between retry and res retry is maybe for autosave? That's what it looks like. Okay, I think I will end it for today and we'll continue this another day. Um, my purpose with, with doing this is mostly to find anybody else in the world who's interested in this era of games. If you like these games, if you're playing along, if you've got your own Betrayed Alliance installed, let me know. Let me know on the... Uh, send me a comment or whatever you do on YouTube. But we'll end it here for today. See you next time, guys. Bye.